Let's add a little excitement to this chapter of our color story. Hi, I'm Katie Hacker, and today Crystal Wick and Cynthia Kimura are here to jumpstart your creativity with colorful bead blends. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Cynthia. Hi. Katie. Welcome. Thanks it's so for great to have you here. Oh, so happy to be here. Yeah, we're yes. having a little party here at Bead Love and Jewelry. We love bead party. We do. Girls, yeah. beads, crystals, we're here. That's yes. right. Great. great combination, just like what we're talking about with color. Yay. Yeah, let's take a look at your necklace, Crystal. This oh, is so pretty. This is so fun. Now, I used a mixed impression jasper pendant for my focal and all of these are the same pendant same technique but they look completely different right because of the color combinations right it can really change your look whole at look that. yeah exactly and i love the See, way that you drew out fun. a color from the beads so you pick one kind of what your favorite yeah. well and the other thing too is they come on strands and so i always figure well I need to make one for my mom, and one for my sister, and one for my best friend, right? right. And so if you don't pick- Don't forget me. Don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> one for Cynthia. And if you pick them out, you pick out what color is their favorite, and then you focus the whole color palette around just that color in Good the idea. bead. Yeah, and then you have these blends that come with pearls, oh, crystals, Oh, designer seed blends. Beads. We have seed bead blends, pearl blends, and crystal blends. So what I like to do is take a triple strand, because more is better in my book. That's right. So I take a triple strand, and I actually start with all three strands being the same length. Okay. Very easy, out of the beading wire here. And then this piece I used crystals and seed beads and pearls. Okay, and I so did it of random. keeping it one, per strand, one style per strand. Right, because you can do it that way, but this mm -hmm. one I wanted to see what it would be like if you did it kind of the messy look and you sure, did it random. Sure, mix it all up. Mix it up. Yeah, so let's show them how to finish this okay, guy because it's so easy. So I'm gonna have you pick this guy up, okay. and again, I added my seed beads, and it's all seed beads, again, okay, mixture. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up a few pick seed up a couple. beads here. And I love using the bead stoppers on the ends while you're doing this process because sure, it helps you design while you're working well they don't end up on the floor in your vacuum cleaner not right. that that's ever happened more no, than once surely. right so well, yeah. multi-strand pieces are always a little bit of a challenge to figure out how to end it yes and i noticed that you're using cones i think that's mm -hmm. a great way to finish because it hides all, any of the messiness <laughs> again it's all right. about looking professional at the end right. so yeah we just the really fun part is that you just do a little um crimp here with a tiny loop at the top very small okay, so it's really easy just bring your wire yep, back bring through it right back through a couple couple of beads a couple of beads pull it and you just do a little tiny loop and as you can see i did that with these already ahead of time but here's how i was showing you also showing how to do a nice little tight crimp with that little tiny loop most people sure. are not used to making them that small right so we'll do the outer right. jaws of the pliers and then the inner so just make our crease there and then fold it in half a little baby taco that's <laughs> it <laughs> looks good look at that yes and then we'll trim off the end because um the excess we don't want showing okay and then look we have our three the three strands that's right here together and they're all the same length. Perfect. And that's kind of important. So now we take a little eye pin, I'm gonna have you do an eye pin, and you put the ends of each strand on the little guy right, right there. And sometimes cones can be a little bit of confusing because people aren't quite sure how to finish it on the inside because exactly. you can't see that part. Well, and we get a lot of comments all the time, especially about how do you, it looks so professional and looks so finished at the end. I can't figure out how to do it. So I thought we would show everybody that it really is this easy and it looks messy. It's not gonna look good until you sure. slide that cone on. So hand me the chain nose yep. And all you're doing here is just closing up your little loop here on your eye pin. Okay. Piece of cake, right? You bring it through slide a cone on, yep. And then I like to put a crystal or some kind of pretty bead that, that, that does matches make it look them. Really nice. Kind of pulls it together, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I really enjoy that. All and right. then um, you can do a nice wrap loop or you can do a simple loop, whatever. I love watching Katie do wrap loops because uh, she's really good at it. You know what? You make a million of these things, you turn into a pro. I think I'm only up to a couple hundred because I am definitely oh, not a pro. Okay, so are we going to attach our clasp on here? Oh, no, there it's just S. So oh, we'll look just at that. Facet, right? Yeah. So just wrap it's it. Go ahead just and do wrap your little this. wrappy. If you're adding a toggle here, then you could go ahead. Yeah, because you can use all kinds here. of different toggles, um, and there are many large ones, small ones. But you know, one of the things I love about this S toggle, I use it all the time. Why? Because you can add five of them if you need it to be longer. Oh, sure. Or you, you can, can go add multiple one. strands. Yes. Right. See, this so is just really make sure great. Your loop is big enough that it fits onto fit your glass. Yeah. And then pinch okay. the little guy shut. This one. Yeah. I didn't trim my end here. I finished my job. Yeah. Well, you know. We try to fit it all in, but there we go. Yeah, and that's how you finish your end. Okay, great. Isn't that really nice? Yes, that looks okay. good. So then we'll move on to what we do with the stone. And now the okay. stone, again, you're just gonna use a head pin 
and you're gonna make a loop at the top. So here's our head. Very so we'll easy. Just make Slide a bend. it in, and you just make a little and then a loop. Yep. Do you want I a use, giant one. I li I like giant. All right. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> start it up here. Especially it's so easy, yeah. everybody right. can see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. Now look at and that's right. very so easy, basic. right? And then all we're gonna do this. I love the pinch bales. Yeah. A lot of folks don't know what to do with a pinch bale. Mm -hmm. So now we're just gonna take the pinch bale. And the pinch bale covers the loop, which is why you can make a nice big one and not right. worry about it. And you'll put that on, and then you will slide your triple strands inside. inside here. There we go. And pinch it. All right. That's why they Let's call it, it the up. pinch bale, yeah. right? Yeah. Nobody's so make sure those. I'm not very good with my left hand. Yeah, but it's great with those pinch bales right too. They're Oops. pretty big, so you can put so many strands of. Uh, right. Yeah, you can there. actually do 12 strands if you want. You could do, yeah. So I love that part. Through. And again, Sorry. the thing, well, and I know they say pinch fail, well, but the thing it. is, what I actually, I actually use it pliers. You do? I do. Well, well they say pinch, they, well, they okay, didn't say finger pinch, it. they said <laughs> plier pinch. Okay. So then all you're going to do is just make sure, yeah, you want to get that little guy in there and then pinch it closed and just make sure okay, that they perfect. touch. There we go. Perfect. So you can use the pliers. That looks good. And then here we have this. And look at this, you guys, so it's done. Pretty. Piece yeah. of cake, it's absolutely done. And so what's really fun about this, again, it's the same stone, the same technique. And we're gonna take a peek over here at some of these color waves. Okay, let me move this out of your Sure, way. because what I like to do, I call it auditioning, and I like to put a lot of colors together. Now, many people don't. They like to be more monochromatic, and any way works, but it's just your taste. So I use, our again, our CB blends and crystals and pearls. And so, for example, this guy here, same stone, put it here. Now look at these. See how pretty that would look? And that would pull out the subtleties of the purples and of the greens. But then you put that one in here, and I know you are all saying, wait, that doesn't go. But then do a little twisty twist. And again, you would want to finish this first before you do it. Check that out. Yeah. You it see, gives it a totally so it's different look. totally different look, mm -hmm. and it's just a bit of a pop of that bright green that comes from the CB blend. Right. The same thing over here. I used three different blends over here, and it's kind of the same. You could go with just one, because look how pretty that looks. You could do just one. And again, audition, try it out. But you can see how this pulls out your oranges and your greens. Right, and really use it as a, a Kickstarter for your color palette. Exactly. For sure. But then pull some more in, and there you have it. Now we have this, which is, of course, the more neutral tones. And now look at what happens to that same piece it with the neutral. Uh, right, it brings mm -hmm. it down, kind of turns yeah. it down a little bit. Right. Yeah, and there are those people, too. I am not one of them, but I know they're out there. <laughs> so we've Let's got this. Let's take a look at your necklaces yeah, here, because... You can really see the difference here too, and not mm -hmm. when you braided together. Same technique, same everything, different colors, and I braided it. I love a multi-strand braid. I don't know, something about it makes it look really rich and right. full, yeah, and it's it easy, anybody can do it. Then this is very, very simple. One designer blend, that's it, and made the whole thing. And that's for people that like a little more delicate. Right, but bright colors too. And then these guys, I love those pieces. Again, it's a more neutral palette, but I added the little spacers, and I love that little touch of metal. That's right, well it really helps define the design. Mm -hmm. You bring a little bit of metal in there, mm -hmm. don't you think? It just kind yeah. of, it really helps everything pop and yeah, kind of go together. Yeah, and it pulls it all that's right. out. Especially so. when you have your pinch bail too there in the yeah. middle, it kind of draws it all pulls together. It all. Yeah, so don't be afraid to, great. again, add pearls, crystals, but also add some metal. Yeah, definitely. Well, these are some great ideas. Thanks, Crystal. Thanks, Katie. And Cynthia, you have ideas for how to mix oh. the colors together, too. Yes. And Crystal and I, I have to say, we love those blends. Yes. Because you can do so many things with right. it. So my project was a, a memory wire bracelet. So let me show you how to do this and put my glasses okay, on. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> so first I have here, I'm showing you the uh, finished project. So it's a button in the middle. And I embellish here with some charms and some little dangle. That looks great. And I already did a four strand here. So you just cut your wire and don't forget to use your memory wire cutter. <laughs> right, you always because use good memory tip. wire cutter. Yes, Definitely. you really don't want to damage you your other cutters. you only learned that cutters. once. That's right. <laughs> you ruined your pliers, so. <laughs> That's true. So let me check where is the beginning of the wire. It tend to tangle a lot too. And of course it's really tangled. And what so you do, you're just cutting is. for the same size, right? Yeah, so you have to so be easy. careful that they are, um, that everything is just that out. You get one loop. There we go. Well, the great thing about memory wire too is that it is always the same size. You know, it's one, <laughs> yeah. size, one size loop. So I like it. You just cut your wire. And then I have this memory wire 
uh, pliers too, which is Perfect. really great because you don't want to use your normal plier. You're gonna, you can damage them, and you just make a loop. And those are great to just grab the wire because yeah. it, it is a really strong wire. So you really want to make a nice loop. You build up your muscles doing this project. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, this one I did a little big. And uh, what I like to do if it's big like that and it's a little crooked, you can bend it a little. And you can see here there is too much of a gap because I'm using some little beads. So I like to also close it. So make sure that it's closed all the way. Yes, so, so you put pressure and you just close it I've like that. I've had that happen before where the beads slide onto your loop. Yes. So you just want to make sure that it's closed all the way. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So this is how you do with the wire. And here I have a very fancy bead stopper, right? <laughs> yeah, I like your style, Cynthia. <laughs> she does like color. I know, I feel that. <laughs> so I already put my uh, button in the middle and I'm just going to add some bead. And I think a couple would be enough. And you need a little space. Um, I think that's too much space, so I can add some more. And then I'm just going to make a loop at the end of this one too. Okay. With the same uh, plier. Oop. And put put pressure on it. Don't hesitate yeah. to really put pressure and, and put the pressure on your finger too. Okay. Like that. And you see it's open, so I want to really close this down like that. So now we need to put them together. And I have my four strand. Remember to put the button in the middle. Right. right. And you want to finish first the end. So I like to stack them, make sure they're all in order here. To me, this like is like that. the tricky part. Definitely. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, bringing it all together at the end. Everything yeah. move and they all want to jump. And it's memory wise. Yeah. 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 Remembers what it used That's to right. be like. It wants to go back. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yes, the button is in the middle. Uh, so I have here, I made a head pin, an uh, eye pin with an 18 gauge. So I start to put a bead on. This teeny bead is so small. And then you put one strand. Then you put another oh. bead. So they're like little spacers and between yes. each. Nice. Yes, and that help the, the bracelet to have a good shape. Mm. And I'm putting another bead. And that makes it a cuff too when you're, yes. when you're finished, right? Yeah. And it can be tricky after a while. So what I like to do is just put like that. Oh, that's a good idea. And put my bead on top of oh, it, easier. sliding. Oh, good thinking. this one is stuck. And you could also Let's do see. as many rounds as you wanted, right? So you're doing right. a four strand, yes. but, yeah, you or could five make strand, fewer, but yes. you could make a whole yeah. sack. I oh, love that idea. I love to make big ones, like 12 strands, 50 yeah. strands. Yeah. Those are great. That's a weekend so. project right there. <laughs> and a lot of yes. beads. That's right. <laughs> and a lot of beads. But, uh, but they're fun. When you have so many colors like that, you can mm -hmm. play with the colors. So here I'm adding the last bead. Do you need the last bead at the end? Okay. And I like to put pressure like that on the table. You oh, bend and you want to do, uh, you want to cut your wire to do a loop. And like okay. I said, it's a little tricky because it's a memory wire and it wants to bounce and it wants to move. And then I'm making my loop here. And don't worry if your loop doesn't look great uh, because you won't really see it after you put the dangle on. Okay. Okay, so this one is not perfect, but That's I okay. can yeah, show yeah, you. That's good. Yes. Yeah. yeah that so, looks good. so here I have one that is done. I did the Look two sides. Oh, perfect. Here. But you see how the bracelet doesn't stay? So now I need to wrap every single one together, every single strand together. So I have some 26 gauge wire. So it's pretty soft. And you want a very soft wire to just wrap everything together. And first you make a band like that. And I'm going to start close to the end. Hmm. And you bring your wire inside. And you have your band here, right? And you go close to a bead. OK, so you in between. Oh, so between it's hidden in between there. Oh. Yes. Now, if you wanted it to stand out, you could use another color. That'd exactly. Cool. That would be really yeah. great, too. Like a neon or something? Something yes. fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. I like the idea of hiding it, too, though, because then no one will know how you did it. Yes. And with the silver between those beads, you, you don't see, see anything. It. So now. So you're kind of using it as a thread to stitch it all together. It is. Like you're weaving, kind of, yeah. aren't you? Yes. Hmm. Exactly. 
So I did some wrap here at the beginning. I'm going behind the strand and I'm bringing to the next bead. Oh. And I go back inside. All right. And I just do like that. Tied it. Cool, yeah. Just one, one time is enough. And then I go back the other one, go back inside, and I tied the loop. Looks good. Yeah. And once in a while, your wire is going to be um, wrapping, so you want to straight it up with your finger. And then do the other one. So it's pretty fast. It's not a very complicated uh, project. Yeah. And, and it looks like it you just used random yeah. beads too, it right? Does. Didn't you just string the beads on randomly? Like you don't even have a pattern going. Yes. Well, it's randomly, but like we say, it's an organized mess. <laughs> organized <laughs> chaos. <laughs> I like it. I, I don't like when there are too many beads the same color one after mm -hmm. the other. So, so you're really I, careful. I do. I do. Uh, I'm careful of what I'm choosing right. for the colors. Okay, so this is the last one. And for the last one, I do maybe a couple times like that. And then you can squeeze. It's a wire, so you can, it's, you can squeeze, you can make it tighter. Good. And I'm going to cut here. And then you'll do that at several places around the bracelet, yes, right? Yes, you can do one behind the button, and you can do on the other side of the uh, bracelet. And here you have a wire sticking out, so you just want to take your chain of plier and just press it down. That's so then great. it will be wrapped like that. So now the fun part. Cute. It's all fun. <laughs> it I is it fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I like to embellish too the oh, end because um, I wanted to hide the loop. So I made those little dangle, They're made so out of cute. pearls, on there, and they match the colors of the seed bead. And okay. here I added also a uh, little burn. That looks great. Well, That's let's it. take a look at your other samples too, because I think th this whole idea is amazing. And then look at all the different things that you can do with it. Yes. There are so many different ways. So on this one, I did a four strand. This is one that I did a three strand, so you can go smaller. And I added a little charm also. That's cute too. And you can do with, uh, we have some um, cr crystal blend. And on this one, I did color blocks. So I did a pattern because I really wanted to show the colors, sure. different colors. It's really trendy right now, too. Yeah, yeah. the color blocks. Yeah, it always is. This blend I really love. It looks like for wedding. Oh, well, yes, it does. You can make your own wedding jewelry. And on this one, I added some uh, pearl, but also some uh, matte uh, onyx gemstone. That looks great. That's really Gorgeous. cute. And uh, my favorite is this one there. It's really big. I like big bracelets. That's great. And I added the charm in the middle. And it, I think it would be fun also if you had chunks all over that would be the oh, bracelet. Yeah, because look, yeah, look at that. What a great yeah, design yeah. idea. And you just use yeah. a jump ring to attach it to that. one yes, of your that's loops. that's it. Huh. And I did that at the end. So you can really right, play, right. you know, so, see where you want to put your charms. Yeah, and think about maybe as you're making your colors, then what kind of charms are going to be perfect for yes. your design or meaningful for you. And I like exactly. how you mixed in a lot of stones with this middle one here too. The mm -hmm. blue one is really pretty yes. too. Yes, and don't be scared to mix different shape of stone. This is a square stone instead of a round stone. Right. And then even the spacers that I put in there, it's not just a plain spacer. It's kind of a, have a little shape in it. Right, it has a little dot on the surface of the cubes. Yes. Those are some of my favorites. Oh. I really like <laughs> those too. Great texture. Yeah, yeah. It adds a whole other level of texture to your piece. Yeah, it sure yes, does, yeah. because you're bringing in all the different surfaces of the beads right. into the texture of the piece. And it's yeah. bumping out so it's not mm -hmm. you know consistent with right. each round. So we've got some silver, right. we have some glass, we have some crystal, pearls. We have some metal and pearls. I think everything is in that one. That's, <laughs> that's right. my favorite. Yeah, it's <laughs> blue, that's why. That's, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, and this, and this stack here is a really good example of how you can really change it up by mixing the different yes. things all together. Yes, and that was leftovers of everything I did and I couldn't mix with the other one, so I thought, hey, I can make several bracelets with the leftovers too. Yeah, you sure could. This is yes. great. Well, thank you so much. These are some great ideas and great ways to kickstart our color ideas and inspiration.